Hey everyone, it's Alex from Phoenix Physical Therapy for your Wednesday workout tip. This week I want to talk about lower back flexibility. Now one thing I tend to see in the clinic is people that do not have the ability to extend or to bend backwards. Now the reason that is can be one of many, but typically it's because we spend a life being forward. Gravity pulls us forward, we have jobs where we're a little bit more sedentary, we're driving in our cars, a lot of things that really keep us bent forward and we tend to lose some of that ability to extend backwards. And one of the things that we find is that if we start to bend backwards gently, it can decrease a lot of that muscle imbalance that we have around our core, our low back and our hips as well. So one of the simple stretches I really like to do is just a standing lower back extension. So you want to find, you know, countertop, handrail, you can even use a wall in a pinch. Uh, we like to use the treatment tables in here, it's a great height. And you want to place your hands on there, you're anchoring your uh, elbows straight, uh, feet are, you know, a few feet back from you, nice shoulder width, and you're simply letting the hips fall down in towards your hands. And then you come back to the start. So this is again, just reestablishing that backward bending ability. So it's helping to stretch out some of the muscles in the front of the spine, behind all the organs, behind your abdominals, and stretching out your hip flexors in the front of the hip a little bit as well. Those will oftentimes get very stiff and tight with some of the postures that we have throughout the day. In addition to being able to extend, side bending is another really important motion we want to restore when treating lower back pain or anything like that. So another way I like to stretch this out, as simple as it may be, sitting in a chair, you want to bend to the side. Now, oftentimes I'll tell people, you can put your hands here if you wanna kind of support your upper body a little bit better so you're not putting as much pressure on your lower back. Ultimately, we do wanna be comfortable to kind of let the body weight take us to that side to let that stretch on the opposite side here. So if I'm leaning to the right, I'd feel that on the left. It's a great way to loosen up that lower back. Both of these exercises, I recommend holding for you know, three to five seconds, upwards of 10 seconds at most, just to decrease how tight those muscles are, but not overload the spinal column, at least early on. But if you ever have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me.